Understanding wind uplift and how it affects your standing seam metal roof is an important characteristic to be aware of. With increasing wind pressures, metal roofs can be more difficult to design and engineer, and errors made when designing can leave the roof susceptible to blow-offs, and that can mean expensive and time-consuming repairs. Are wind clamps the solution to these problems? In this video, we'll cover just what wind clamps are, when their use is recommended, how they're used in retrofits, and you'll be introduced to S5's wind clamp, an inexpensive yet effective solution to wind uplift problems. Let's get into it. What is a wind clamp? A wind clamp is what S5 trademarked and patented many years ago as a device that you can put on top of a standing seam, right on the seam, that will help reinforce that roof under heavy wind loads. We've been doing this for quite some time and conducted many tests to which we learned the clamp needs to be designed specifically for that roof. So if you can imagine a standing seam, they come in a variety of shapes and profiles where you've got trapezoidal double folded standing seams and you might look at, for instance, something like Butler MR24, which is really well tight folded seam and tends to be a bit smaller. And you'll see something like uh, Rigid's Quad Lock, which has a lot of material in there and it's a much bigger fold in that seam. You have two roofs that a normal person or a lay person that isn't in the industry would look at it and say, oh, they're pretty much the same, where a clamping technology for one is gonna be different than what you do for the other. And why I bring that up is a wind clamp is designed specifically for that roof so that it can nestle the folds under a high wind event, it's gonna prevent a number of failure modes. The most common for a standing seam is the panel will billow. When that happens, you can imagine the seam is wrapped up tightly. When it bellows under high wind load, it tries to unfold at the seam itself. So placing a clamp directly on that seam that's holding that seam together is gonna to prevent that mode of failure. Another thing that happens is that standing seam might try to unfold up off the clip, the clip which is holding it down to the structure. Uh, when this is placed at a clip location, now you're holding, you're keeping the panel from unwinding, but you're also holding it onto the clip. So what that ends up doing is if the roof's failure mode is that it unfolds off the clip or it becomes unwound mid-span, uh, you're reinforcing that, allowing that roof to have better strength integrity in high wind loads uh, than it would without a wind clamp. Other means to do such a thing without using a wind clamp would be if it's existing construction and standing seam, you might have to screw through the panel and fix that panel more frequently than it's fixed with the concealed clips. But when you do that, you're, you're gonna avoid the warranty of the roof and you're creating a potential leak problem. If it's new construction, the, the ways to reinforce that roof is to add more red iron, meaning put more purlins in there uh, so that you can affix the roof more frequently. Make the seam spacing smaller, so instead of a 24 inch seam, you go to an 18 or 12 or something like that. But again, now you're using more screws, more clips, you're fixing more frequently, which drives your costs way up. You can increase the material thickness, again, adding more metal to it. So you go from 24 gauge to 22 gauge, and in doing such a thing, again, you're raising the cost. Uh, an external clamp like this that in many cases can double the uplift performance of a, of a roof, you're doing that at a fraction of the cost and you're allowing retrofit construction to be brought up to code, if you will, or even to be able to compete better when you have a, a new construction and you're not wanting to throw so much more metal at it. Uh, this is a useful means to make that roof a stronger roof and at a minimal cost. Now, well, there you have it, folks. If you're in a high wind zone and in need of a way to protect your standing seam metal roof, wind clamps, also known as external seam clamps, just might offer you the protection you need at a reasonable price. 
And now that your interest has been piqued, join us next time when Dustin and Mark will be sitting down with their panel of experts from FM Global, MCA, NBCI, and more to talk retrofits, wind force fundamentals, load path and failure modes, and so much more. We'll see you then.